using the Mimeo bar buttons. There are five buttons located on the bottom of your Mimeo bar. The functions of these buttons depends on what mode you are using, interactive mode or capture mode. Remember, interactive mode is when your computer is projected onto your whiteboard and you are controlling your computer using the Mimeo mouse. When in interactive mode, the top button on your bar serves to open and close your Mimeo tools. Here, when I press the top button, the Mimeo toolbar will close. When I press it again, the Mimeo toolbar will open. When in interactive mode, the second button serves as screen annotation. Screen annotation is used when you are outside of Mimeo Notebook and you want to use your Mimeo toolbar. When I press the second button, you see the green border around the screen. This means your screen is frozen and you can use your Mimeo toolbar. When you are finished, Press the second button again to unfreeze your screen. All annotations will disappear and you will be live again on your computer. When in interactive mode, the third button serves as your spotlight tool. Press the button again and the spotlight will disappear. Your fourth button serves as the reveal screen. When I press the reveal screen, the window shade appears. By pressing the fourth button again or clicking on the red X, the reveal screen will disappear. Finally, the fifth button is calibrate. Pressing the calibrate button is how you initially get your system into interactive mode and align your projection for interactive use. The other mode that Mimeo can be used is Capture. This enables you to save your handwritten notes. When in Capture mode, the top button on your bar serves as New Page. Here I have completed a full page of notes. When I press the top button, a new page will appear. You can see this new page by going to multi-page view. The second button is copy page. Copy page is used a lot when you are trying to show progression. Here I'm going to copy this page to slide 3. Now I can add to the progression. Here's an example of the end result. You can see when I click through slides, the progression is shown. When in capture mode, the third button is print page. Pressing on this button will send the current page to the default printer. In Capture Mode, the fourth button is Maximize Minimize Window. It works as a toggle switch. If I press the button once, the screen is maximized. When I press it again, the screen is minimized. Pressing again will restore the screen. The last button is the Calibrate button. Pressing the Calibrate button when in Capture Mode is how you initially get your system into Interactive Mode.